Calling to say I leading up to this, uh, I knew there was this was the biggest uh, fight of my career. It's Robert Whittaker. The man hasn't lost uh, to anybody else than the champion in almost a decade. But I uh, said it is just not going to see the third round. Uh, TKO in the second happened that way because you know I just know my fighting style and he is too good and too calculated. I needed to um, figure out his timing and you know I always do switch stance but to go and, and learn a complete new style for this guy and it just worked perfectly but you know in that first I would say first half of the first round I was almost checking to see okay what how fast is he how hard does he hit and he hits hard and he hits fast but it was just getting that timing seeing okay but it was still going forward and putting pressure on. That was the plan and that's what I executed. Much easier said than done when you're fighting and standing in front of Robert Whittaker throwing these big shots. But at the end of the day, I progressed and, and I, I made that pressure forward, made the pressure forward. And I could see in his eyes when he realized this guy's not slowing down and this guy's not going away. That's how I plan on beating him, the same way I beat Whittaker tonight, by implementing the game plan and sticking to my style and doing what we do best. Listening to my coaches, listening to the great Monet Fesso, the great teammates I have at CIT, the guy, a small gym in South Africa, coming up with game plans with this awkward style, this style that looks completely wrong to so many people. I'm the number one contender in the world right now, so it's time to put some respect on that.